Oh know? my gosh. <laughs> Hold on. It's crossing over. Yeah. Eber. Yeah. The Ebrews who have become one. Wow. Um, in this verse. So before we go there, though, let's go back up to dwelling place, please, in the verse, in what we're breaking down. And then we'll come back to this. So let's go to Psalm 70, 76, 76, 2. So you're building this as a thong of people. This is your dwelling place. Look at the word for dwelling place. Six, six, six. Three vavs in there. And two of those are completely full. One is in the earth working, and two of those are completely full. Let's go find out what this dwelling place is. This is habitation. So that phrase of the holy habitation, the yes. set-apart habitation. Yes. We have the occurrence in here in Deuteronomy 26, 15, correct? I'm sorry, I'm not following you. Okay, okay, so just, okay, so go to his dwelling place and it's rooted out at 4583. Okay. Got it. Now I have it. Oh, okay. there's there's that holy habitation. So now you have holy habitation. So what are we building again? We're building a holy habitation from heaven. Okay? Now, in that word, we can take it to, it's from Un, 5770B. There's an abode of men. And where is it from? And then can you please connect that to that? This was being built. To testify, and at the very bottom of this verse, I have an I have an energy right now that I'm feeling. What I'm seeing right now is I'm trying to break this down clearly without going in a, in a bomb because I know it's all connected. So I'm trying to render in this grenade without exploding out everywhere that we can see that that we've already talked about a test a testimony and a witness because this is what's coming. And that the temple of answers is being is being built. This is what you're building as an offering. I still need to tether it back to thicket because we haven't even gone to pastures yet. And so we're we're connecting this as this is still part of thicket. This is what will be built as the teachers, as the offering of peace and love into the earth. And so now we're into this ana or un ana to testify and a witness. And we know that it's connected to the house of answers and we can we don't really need to go on next we've already done that one so let's go to find out what if Did you do you want to just like it talks to, about to begin to speak yeah absolutely sing, shout testify and announce and right so this saying pay attention right so just to connect so somebody knows in previous teaching the house of answers or the house of reply are those that give answers in Sheol, the place where people are asking questions. Right. Absolutely. So just connecting to previous teachings. So we've just gone to 5770B, um, and it was Ana. And there's a lot going in in this thing, so I just want to slow it down a little bit. And now we're going to... So let's go find out what 5770A is. Because we just said that habitation, this is a non to testify. Well, what are we testifying as? The eye. And if that is that, let's go to 5770 because A and B are connected to this. There we have the eye, the eye. And that's interesting because this one has a bob in it. Right. 
And when you when it's spelled, normally it's with a yod. Right. And if you and want, look at that. They're if, saying it's enviously. That's. But that's, again, we have a jealous God. Yeah, but that means a zealous. Right. He's, he's passionate. And that's what I'm, my point was exactly that. It's misinterpreted, but we're, we have a watchful Father. We are this, and you can take it to what you just said to Ayin, and it should go to five seven, or five eight six nine. Obviously, it's a word that's used a lot. Well, this is interesting because even in this 5, 8, 6, 9, the first occurrence is in Genesis 3, 5, and then 3, 6. Right? Yeah. If you eat of this. Your eyes shall be open. Right. Mm -hmm. So now we're, we're building something of knowledge. We're building something that we're partaking of that goes right back to the garden. And we're talking about this is being built because this is a testimony and a witness, right? That's all. This is all connected. And here we have through the pieces of mother and father. Absolutely. The, through. the yod, new new yod. So it's telling you the seed of life, mm -hmm. the spiritual path, is going to be found between the two power visions that are given through you if you go through the pieces of mother and father. You are standing. But you have to have the eyes to see it. Yeah, and you <laughs> actually, it's also saying that you need to rise between the right and the left hemisphere, raise up into become the all-seeing eye. This is what, this is now become risen to that. That's really what it's saying too. There's a lot going on in this word because this is where you'd have the knowing, the intimate knowing of why you're journeying the experience of love and peace in the earth because it's all connected. Now, and these are both hands of power, mm -hmm. right? One that gives, one that receives, but this is a cup that is ready ready to receive the living water teachings, the mem. Right. So so now, you're again, you're, you're building this as a tabernacle, as a witness and a testimony, as a thicket to be joined together, to intertwine it, to then consume it. And why? So let's go back to this dwelling. Kof Elohim. Right. The cup that is full, We're, having become Elohim. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you become a full cup. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, but... So, but let's, so, and we're going to talk, we're going to, we still got to go into that verse. I just got to get us there. So let's go to back up to the word that what what dwelling was the root of his dwelling place and it was in Strong's four five eight three, so we can connect that, and this was from um, um, his dwelling place, yeah. In this verse, and can you go down to, um, go down to the bottom, please, and then oh, hit on that, please. Marriage. <laughs> Look at, okay. So now we have the yeah, ayin. But they're saying as a definition means guilt. But you've you've married and you've just adjudicated yourself from guilt. Oh, well, that makes sense. You filled yourself up and you're adjudicated now because everything is a polemic. So you now dwell together. You've self adjudicated and you've risen above uh, beyond it. Oh my goodness! So, no, 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 no! Look at what King James said. Duty of marriage. Right. But that is not what the word says. No. It means dwell together, sexual cohabitation. That has nothing to do with marriage. Uh, no. It's two becoming one. It's two becoming one. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. So I wanted to go into... And, and it shows the spiritual path. Ona. So they wanted to make sure that you have guilt if you're cohabitating. They call this marriage, but it's not marriage. Right. You will have the eyes to see when you connect at the heart level when you take the spiritual path because it will be revealed to you the one love. Right. So what this is doing is freeing people from the piece of paper, the marriage contract, when it's a position of the heart. 
Yeah, well, go into... Because they, they've tried to control us. The state has tried to control us with a piece of paper. Right. Because children that are born in the marriage contract are the property of the state. This is a big freaking deal. This is a huge deal, and that's why I wanted to go slow in this one. But um, so, so go down to... Okay, so go to the top of this page. Now go into it, please. There's an A. Oh, my goodness. Again, you've now overstood guilt. You are no longer guilty. You've overstood guilt. And it's from um, 5571. Right. I just shared with this. Okay. This means crooked paths. Yes. Because when we're first born into the system, we don't know which way to go. Right. So all that it seems like we go on crooked paths until we find the straight and narrow one. Yes. So they're telling us that this is iniquity and guilt when it all it means is you're just trying to find the center straight way. Yeah, you're trying to be free. We live in guilt and, and, and we're trying to free ourselves from this measure. And it, it's only done through marriage of winding together the thickets. It's telling a story of weaving along the journey. So hold on a second. Mm hmm. That's five seven, five seven five yeah, three. Yeah, to a miss. To a miss. It just means that you haven't found the path right. Right. Yet. You're just your arrow is crooked. You're a little bent, and you need to do some work on this. So you need to find the way straight. So you need to open your eyes to look at the place that'll connect you to Revelation. Right. And it's the revealing of the one love. Yeah. So this is going back to that one love is what is always drawing us. So we're always trying to reorient ourselves. Yes. Until we go, aha! I found the way. I need to go this way. Because it's revealing and the that, hey, hey to the hey, Olive. And that's what we're doing right now is we're trying to reveal this. Okay, so. Wow. Yeah. So we went from the guilt. We were at 5772A. Mm hmm. And we took it back to Avon. And then we went to Ava, meaning to crook, to amiss. Right. Okay, so, we, oh, so go to 5772B, please, so we can connect this back to the House of Answers. There it is. Hit on that. So, so we, this is talking about cohabitation. Doesn't say marriage. But we have to be able to connect it back. Otherwise, we're just going random. So now we just connected it back to testify again and go to the bottom for people so they can. There you go. A temple of answers. Because it'll say bet enough. Right. And that's where we were. Oh, went to that right there. Bet enough. Let's. We're going to finish up on this, and we probably end this session. Then we can start with the pastors again. So. Go back to what this was based off of, of Sukkot, about weaving together things. So go back to 5525, please. And this was that one about the foreign god, right? But I want you to go to Amos 526. So the root of that 5522, or 5522, is 5519. And now we have a tabernacle, and that's exactly what we're building. Now I want you to look at what's going on here. You already know. You're going to see this right away, but for people. And you carried. Can you go into that, please? Now, we have tome on the end of this already, and it's a diamond, a completed diamond. There's the tome. Which means a gift from God, those who are quadrated. So these are them. So now you know this is completion. This is you've built this. So think of it now as completion. So hit 5-3. Yeah, I already know what this is. Okay, to lifting to carry this. So you have, now this word. This is the root of Nesween, nuptials, which right. has to do with the ancient Hebrew wedding. Okay. So you This built. is actually the day that you come, the, the groom comes to get you to go consummate your relationship. Right. The end of the betrothal period when the father says, it's now time, go to get your... It's now time, son. Go get your bride. Right. And, but but the, tov, the Tov Mem has been added. Exactly. So lift up the two. Yep. Right? The twin covenants. So this is humility. In humility, lift up these two pieces of the olive tov, which is strong love. This is your sukkah. The first and the last, the beginning and the end. And we just... Which people would know as the alpha and the omega. Right. So you are now, you've built this, and now you are tabernacle. We've just... Yep. Yeah, now you're the vav tov. You are connected... Two, in the power of meekness, the one covenant with a different sine wave fre frequency, mark from ex exempt from judgment. Why? Because we no longer judge. Mm -hmm. We've rendered everything clear, and we are in unconditional love. So now you're Malachim. 
Yeah, well, that's so interesting because it's the double cough. So now your double cough. Very rarely do you see it written that way too. So now your complete mel is completely filled up. You're full now with the double measure because that's cherubim language this there. This is honey. This mm -hmm. is filling up with the sweet. So now you're completely filled up through the double measure of mother and father. You've opened your hand to receive. Sealed. You've filled your cup. Sealed in the waters above. Or fathers, what if the, the the unrevealed but is revealed is hidden until hidden no more is kind of the language of that. Yeah, and then the cough is cough pay, so you know it's connected to the language that reveals. Mm -hmm. And how do we know that? We've got wayet. That's that same word that connects heaven and earth together in Genesis one one. Mm -hmm. So now we have, um, so now yeah, uh, wayet. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, way up. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then go into... So now you built what? You've built... Well, that's interesting because that's pillar language. It's kum. Yeah. It says kayun and it says that it's a heathen god, but of course they would want you to not know what that is. You've now built the stand to, to be, be firm. firm. We'll go all the way down because this word is used a lot, hence why there's so many interpretations of it. To be erect. To, to fashion, to be up. firm, to be fitted, to be fixed, to be ordained, prepare. order, perfect, preparation, this self. This is now when you prepare. You so are now you've appointed, you've been rendered sure, and you are prosperous. This connects to the goddess of love because it's the goddess of prosperity and love. Mm -hmm. So we're building something. So now you're building the stand. Let's go into... And look at that. It has the double yod. Yep. Right? So the two visions that have become one, and it's kun. So now you have the twin powers, right? The two yods of mother and father. It's now within your heart. Right. It's within your center of your being. So now go to idols. This is a big verse right here. Now have you built yourself as the image in the similitude of, in the likeness of. I was just sharing this with Regina yesterday. We shall make man in in our image. That's exactly what you're doing here. You break in agreement with, so now you have resemblances, but you're breaking free of the illusion is what's going on. You're constructing something out of the illusion. You have built the intention. And we're going to see what this intention is here in one second. Well, and this is huge because this is shading you from the light. Right. Right? So you are in the place of darkness until illumination comes. Everything, this whole verse is being extracted through the higher frequency. And so now you're building yourself. That's you're so not funny. building yourself as an idol. It's not what it is. You're building yourself in the likeness of. And there's that Yod Kof Mem again. Mm -hmm. So power means in direction of the right hand if you open your hand or your cup to be filled with the living water teachings. And that's a desire. That, that Zadi on the on the prefix, that's you, you're now the desire. You built yourself as the desire. Yeah, you're hunting and chasing. You're mm -hmm. taking that spiritual journey. Yep. So that your heart can be instructed through the teaching shepherd of life that was going to present to you the living water teachings of mother and father. Yep. That is your power. And then go into 3556. Five, come start right so now you built <laughs> oh, that's yeah yep a blazing a star so take this person on what you're building here you're building um you're building something pretty pretty spectacular here um um in in the value and we haven't even really touched the fullness yet of what, what's going on and so then go to the next word you're building this. well and then you can just look at that right there the two Twin coughs. Yep. You've opened your hand to receive. This is between the pieces again. The narrow path between both pieces, grasping a hold of and opening your cup to be filled with what mother and father are presenting through the languages to fill you up, pierce your heart so you can be a built one, bet tov, through the 222. Yep, completely built. You're no longer in the building process for your built. And then this is that whole, you know, when people see different forms of Elohim or Aloha or you know, and so this is Elohim, but what's in there? The cough. They've grasped a hold of and been filled up with the living water teachings. Which made you? The gods. Right, and this 834. Who, and, and cough means power. And we've already said that, that we've already broken this down before, that 834 is the root of Asherah. Right. 
This is actually the double anointing, the double power, the double portion, because mm -hmm. it's two forms of power. And it's those who give. The yod means those who give. Right. The work of your hand, you've have generously given, you've gently received the vision, the power means and the directions to grasp that which has been sealed up. Which has bent you and humbled you. Yep. And then we go back to Asher. Now you're back to Asher. The, the root fire of Asher. on the head, which right. is the happy and fortunate ones. So now you have this, and so now you built Ashra. This is now love. Now you built love through peace, because that's the, this is the peace offering. Don't forget what we're building. We're spil still building the thicket of peace that makes the love offering. Right. And so now it's six two one three. You've made it. There's the asa and there's that we've been that we just talked about here in a couple teachings ago that I just recently released. And there's the tone. Yep. There's the power, the vision through the twin covenants. You've just made the twins as one. And then the last word. You've made yourselves. You've made yourselves. And they don't even have a strong story. They don't. They don't have any idea what it is. But if you know what the code is saying, you know that you've made yourself as a teaching shepherd of life who has been filled up, grasps a hold of the power of the risen languages, not the lower lesser narrative of the English scriptures, but the, the language that reveals the living water teachings. So, so you can be completed. And now you know yourself. So you built your sukkah. You built the frequency of your sukkah. Looks like in yourself. Your it's it's actually the frequency of shalom. So you now you can now we know what shalom is. You built yourself in in the all-consuming um, teachings of the hidden. That's shalom, fully hidden. Right, like right. The fathers, um, sheen lamed mem. You're building it in a covert process. This is actually telling us how to build incorruptible flesh you're building love as so you can offer love and it's that's why the ram in the thicket is what you're doing you're waiting for the l ship to approach so it would stand in the thicket that it could be consumed as the love offering and then we're no longer here we're, we're lifted up and we're going to go into that and that's the incorruptible f flesh when yeshua said tear this temple down in three days i would rebuild it uh, he was talking about his sukkah absolutely his flesh suit his uh, temporary dwelling in the lower densities absolutely yeah so i don't even know i need to stress that again this is the process of building incorruptible flesh Yep. From the corruptible form. Yep, absolutely. It is. Through the compression of light and activating the light body, the Merkaba. Yeah, we're we're Jeez. we have a tough job. Do, what we're doing right now is is I mean, building this is difficult. Comprehending it's another thing, right? I mean, to but again, we all we also know that transformation doesn't happen without activation, and this has to be handled gently. Um, I, I wanted to show you something. Is this a good time to break? This is a really good time to break. So, we're, so that is just thicket. That is so it was directly connected to sukkah, shalom, thicket, weaving. You're building love, and you're building yourself. You're building yourself as L, as as an as a not an idol, but a similitude. And it's interesting because in you, the place of illusion. Right, and this is exactly what Rachel took from Laban. She took the idol off the mantle, and he was looking for it. It was the mantle of strong love, and we're going to break that down as well. But that's why she chased after because that was the this was what it was. It was the Ashra um, representation of Ashra, strong love in the higher narrative so we're building strong love so we can offer that as a gift offering and a sacrifice and then we're going to have that consumed so shalom shalom to you